In this textbook, chapters are called modules. A module is one set of separate parts, when combined, form a complete whole. So they're like chapters of a book, but they're modules. This is 1.1, identifying integers and their opposites. An integer is a member of the set of all whole numbers and their opposites. This means an integer is any positive or negative whole number and zero. There's no fractions or decimals allowed. It's only whole numbers. We can see zero in the center, and then the positive numbers are to the right, one, two, three, four, five. The negative numbers are to the left of zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And the opposites are the same distance from zero. It's a lot easier to say integer than it is to say positive or negative whole number. And positive numbers are greater than zero and can be written with or without the plus sign. It's usually without. Negative numbers are less than zero and are always written with the negative sign. And zero, he's not positive or negative. But he is a whole number, and he is an integer. We can identify an integer and its opposite by looking for numbers that are the same distance from zero and on opposite sides of zero on a number line. The opposite of four is negative four because they're both four jumps away from zero. So the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. We could say the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. They're both two jumps away from 0. Here we can see Ben and Sam. And Ben is up here, Sam is on lower land, and the sea level is 0. It's 0 on this number line, this vertical number line. Ben is four feet above sea level. The dolphin is four feet below sea level. Ben and the dolphin are the same distance from zero. Out of these three, Sam is the closest to sea level. He's at about one on the number line. It's a positive one. That's closer to zero than the positive four or the negative four. And out of these three, the dolphin has the least elevation because it's lower than Ben or Sam. On a horizontal number line, the dolphin is further to the left. We can think of negative numbers as diving below sea level. When you're one foot below sea level, you're at negative one. When you're two feet below, you're at negative two, and you go farther down below sea level. The higher you go into the sky, these are positive numbers, and you're going in a positive direction away from zero. Two numbers are opposites if, on a number line, they are the same distance from zero, but on different sides of zero. Three and negative three are opposites. They're both three jumps away from zero and are on different sides of zero. And zero is its own opposite. The opposite of zero is zero. Here we have two number lines. We have number line A and number line B. Which number line shows the point farther from zero? Number line A is showing a point at negative 5, and number line B is showing a point at positive 1. So which number line shows the point farthest from 0? If you said A, you're correct. The point farthest from 0 is on number line A as a negative 5. It's 5 jumps away from 0, where this positive 1 is only 1 jump away from 0. So if you said A, you're correct. 
We can graph opposites on a number line. That means draw points. We can use the word graph as a noun or a verb. As a noun, it's a line or diagram showing how one quantity depends or changes with another quantity. When used as a verb, which is what we're doing, it means to draw, to plot points on a line or coordinate grid. So we can graph opposites on a number line. We can draw the points. The opposite of negative five, it's five jumps from zero, would be on the different side of zero, the other side, and it would be five jumps. One, two, three, four. It's a positive five. The opposite of negative five is positive five. And for positive one, it's one jump away from zero. We go on the other side of the zero, one jump away. It would be negative one. Now we can find the distance between the points by counting the units, the jumps between them. From negative five to positive five, well we know this is five jumps away from zero and we know this is five jumps away from zero, that's 10 jumps. The distance is 10 units, whatever the units are. So if there was a centimeter between each one of these, it would be 10 centimeters, or if it was inches between them, it would be 10 inches. The distance for negative one to positive one, this is one jump away from zero, and so is this one. One plus one is two. The distance is two units, whatever the units are. So we can find the distance between the points by counting the units, the jumps between them. Just remember, in order to be an opposite, they are on different sides of zero with the same number of jumps. And remember that zero is its own opposite. The opposite of zero is zero. And zero is not positive or negative, but it is a whole number and it is an integer. And there are no fractions or decimals for integers. They're just positive or negative whole numbers. Our next lesson, 1.2, we're gonna be comparing and ordering integers. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you join me for next time, and please hit the like button. Bye.